Hello, this is uh, Chef Andros. Uh, today is the 2nd of October uh, 2014. Uh, October is the season that we harvest, uh, we start harvesting the olives in Cyprus. Um, the olive tree uh, has been existing in Cyprus so, um, since the beginning of uh, the history of Cyprus. 10,000 years ago, and uh, since then it was considered um, uh, probably the most uh, valuable um, uh, asset of Cyprus, and the Cyprus is one of the uh, uh, olive producing countries um, uh, in the Mediterranean, and um, we have abundance of uh, olives and we produce as well a very nice uh, virgin olive oil. So today I will show you how to preserve the green olives. So I will turn the camera towards the uh, table and we will see what, what we will do. So um, I have um, olives. This is the new harvest. And this is an indigenous um, um, uh, kind of form of olive in Cyprus and it produces a lot of olive oil. Actually, uh, four kilograms of these olives uh, can give you one kilogram of um, uh, olive oil. Uh, in fact, the four kilograms that I have here, you could produce as well one liter of olive oil. So let's see how I will um, uh, preserve my olives. I have done some work uh, before and I will continue now with you. So what I am going to do, I will um, use a mallet and just split open the olives like this. So I will use my mallet and what I will do, I will just split open each and every of these olives you are um, uh, looking here. And I will place them into water so that you can see that, that the water, uh, this batch it was done uh, at noon, a few hours before, and the water has already um, become um, uh, dark because it uh, takes the bitterness out of the, uh, out of the olive. So I will just make a few more, like that. You can use actually a stone, you can use any other um, uh, um, any other item you want to uh, to crush them and just split, split them open. So these olives, they are very bitter. So we need to soak them in water. And I will tell you uh, actually two or three ways how you can uh, preserve them. Um, normally, if you are in a hurry uh, to eat the olives or sell the olives um, uh, in the next days, you have to change the water uh, two times a day for one week. And then um, much of the bitterness, it will go away. Then you will make a brine and uh, to make the correct brine, you can use any, any glass, any glass, any size of glass, provided you will do the ratio of one cup of salt. This is one cup of salt and eight cups of water. This is the best uh, solution you can make and this is the most precise. So we don't need to uh, test in a different way. So it is one cup, eight cups. One glass, eight glasses of water. That's it. So um, after, the, after one week, you will drain these olives, wash them, and um, you will 
add the solution, you will add the brine, and you can use um, different uh, jars. I will be using some of these jars, and I will fill the olives first, and then I will fill it up with, with the brine, and on the top, we can um, uh, place um, some um, slices of uh, fresh lemon and a few splashes of olive oil so that the olives on top will not be oxidized. They will not become black. Okay? So, to keep the olives green, we will do this. So, <coughs> the other method that you can uh, keep the olives for a longer period, the way that I have um, crushed them in this um, the casserole, just wash them, prepare the same brine, one with eight glasses, one cup with eight cups of water, and uh, you can cover them with the brine without having to wash them or change the water at all. So you put the brine straight away into the olives which you have just uh, washed. Just washed, nothing else. Now these olives, they will uh, be preserved for at least one year. And um, again, um, if you have them in jars like this one, uh, you have to press them so that the top layer does not oxidize. Maybe you can use uh, a small piece of nylon, just press it all around so that the air goes out. So on the top, the olives must not, must, must not be exposed. So this is the other method. So either we uh, sweeten the olives um, for a few days and uh, we can sell them or we can eat them in the next uh, three or four or five months. Or if, if we want them to, uh, preserved for a whole year, even further, we can um, uh, uh, add the brine as soon as we crush the olives. Okay, so, these olives I have here, they are one year old. We harvested them last year, I had them in the brine uh, uh, for one year, and I will show you now how to um, prepare the olives uh, to serve on the table. So I will be needing some chopped garlic, very little garlic, a few um, slices of, of lemons for garnish. We will be needing some dry coriander seeds. I will take some in the spoon. So this, uh, this is the crushed um, uh, coriander seeds, uh, some lemon juice, and of course some extra virgin olive oil. So I will prepare for you now I will prepare for you these olives. So these are my olives, some coriander seeds like that, some garlic, as much as you like. There are no limits. So some decoration with the sliced uh, lemon. This is on our lemons are still green in Cyprus. And this is what we have in the backyard. So I will add some lemon juice. Okay, like that. And I will drizzle some extra virgin olive oil. Like this one. And I will come near the camera. So these are the olives that you can uh, enjoy. Uh, you can even dip your toast or your bread into this lovely uh, olive oil, which is very tasty and together with the garlic and, um, and the lemon juice, it is really delicious. So I hope that um, this uh, tutorial was um, uh, useful to you. Um, I share my experiences uh, with pleasure uh, uh, with you. Um, 
because um, um, what we do on YouTube is really exchanging our civilization. So we show the people who don't have olive trees how to prepare the olives. And at the same time, we get the experiences of um, other uh, people from around the world. And this is what, uh, what makes it very, very interesting. So thank you very much for watching. I will be back with another um, olive tutorial in winter, probably in two or three months, when the olives will be black and ripe. Because this one, this, this olives now they are green, uh, they are very bitter. Of course, when they, when they are ripe, when they are black, um, we use other methods, uh, to make them, um, to dehydrate them or, uh, to have them in brine, um, in a similar way. And, um, those so black olives, we can even fry them or grill them or cook them uh, in, in, in various uh, recipes. So this is Chef Andros, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will be back uh, with you for, uh, with more videos uh, of cooking and of course uh, play the harmonica for you as well. Thank you very much, good night.